Dear friends, welcome to RPA Tutorials. In this video, we are going to cover the different components of the new Automation Anywhere Enterprise Control Room in brief. At the time this video was created, the latest version of Automation Anywhere is 10.5. The first component that we need to look at is the Repository Manager. This represents the server repository where all automation files are physically stored. A user with the right access control and permissions can either run or schedule an automation from the repository manager on a registered client machine. You can create a schedule for an automation here or from task schedules section. All your automation schedules are visible and can be managed in this section. Operation room shows list of historical and in progress automations with their status. It can be used to monitor, in real time, all running automations that have been deployed on different client machines. One of the benefits of Control Room 10.x as stated earlier in this video is ability to control access based on user roles. Security helps you define various user roles and set their permissions so that they can access only relevant sections of the Control Room. User Management section helps you create users like developers, runtime users and administrators by assigning them to the appropriate role defined in the security section. Development and runtime licenses are also allocated and managed at user level in this section. You can view the list of all registered clients including both development clients, also known as bot creators, and runtime clients, also known as bot runners, in the clients section. The Control Room Audit Trail lets you administer user activity log. Information such as user login, user logout, automation execution, etc. are captured in the Control Room Audit Trail. One limitation with the Audit Trail is that it does not capture any activity done locally on the client machine. Also it does not log any transactional level details that an automation runs. It only captures activities done through the Control Room. Control Room 10.x also comes with a new feature of managing sensitive information in form of credentials in the Credential Manager. You can create, update and store usernames and passwords to business applications like SAP, Oracle etc., which can then be securely used by automations during runtime. For a deep dive into the new Control Room features and components, subscribe to our channel now. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked this video, Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos on RPA and Automation Anywhere tutorials. Feel free to comment on the video below or email us for any suggestions, feedback or questions.